All right, so our chapter is chapter 10, Dog Snarling Together, and it focuses a lot on the politics surrounding the uh, textile market and fair trade in general. Um, so we started kind of with the main themes of the chapter, uh, with the bigger words kind of coming out as, as more important and more important issues that came up in the chapter. Um, and we kind of, especially with the textile uh, mark or the textile industry in general, we, we noticed that they were operating a lot out of a fear of losing their jobs, and, and that caused them to do, to go to lobbyists and to band together so that they don't lose their jobs and don't hurt their industry. So we started out with a quote from the book, uh, It Could Have Been Me, and a couple quotes from recent news articles talking about how uh, calling for people to get involved and to talk to their congressmen about how fair trade and free trade is going to uh, devastate their jobs and trying to instill that sense of fear in other people so that as the chapter title come together that they'll snarl together and that they're more powerful if they get enough people to speak out and try to stop free trade. And we talk a lot about uh, free trade especially with China and it seems that in the news all the times that we have articles that are talking about the fear of if we open complete free trade with China and that we're going to lose jobs. And this is a, a table we found demonstrating projected job loss of, in the manufacturing jobs because of free trade deals that have been made. And the dashed lines represent possibilities of what it should have been had the deals not been made. Moving on from there, we kind of wanted to look at another industry that that lobbying has had a major effect on, and the one that jumped out most to us is in the banking industry, especially with the big banks. And uh, a quote from Forbes just recently talked about the big banks banding together to uh, try to stop the big bank subsidy from going from ending, so that they can uh, continue to receive uh, interest-free loans from the government. And it just shows how the big banks have a massive lobbying effort and, and come together in order to try to either to prevent deregulation or if the law passes to slow it way down so that the effects don't take don't take effect for a long long time and then we focused on how this this has come to a point in Indiana and uh, through our research we came up with our pork industry is a huge exporter of pork um, with and we rank fifth with overall pork production and over 10% of that is, is being consumed in Japan. So we found a, uh, a stat that said that if we liberalized our trading policies that we could save each Indiana family uh, over 10,000 or more than $10,000 per year, which is shows that the benefits of free trade could be massive for Indiana farmers um, here in our own state. And kind of going from there, questions that every executive needs to kind of ask themselves when they're working together um, is which on which side of the aisle they're snarl. Are they being hurt by lobbyists lo lobbying against them, or are they being helped by these fair trade uh, policies? So that's that. Thank you.